now you are focusing out on most important topic here that is nutrition and obviously it is connected with food and food digestion let us discuss step by step the first thing whenever you are talking of nutrition that means we are consuming of food and the food is digested then food is absorbed then it is assimilated like that steps are there what is the purpose of this lecture that we are focusing out concentrating out on this topic now first uh, what is the nature of food and why it is required say every species say when it is we are calling as heterotrophic uh, try to recollect the terms as we have discussed heterotrophic that means uh, food is not prepared by their own they are using food material prepared by other mainly prepared by autotrophs or uh, even by heterotrophs also so let us discuss this point more clearly over here so first thing mode of nutrition we have to concentrate on autotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition what is autotrophic the food material is produced by their own then we are calling as autotrophic like plants so try to recollect that plants are synthesizing out their own food the reaction is very simple we are talking as carbon dioxide and water molecule they are combining with each other in presence of chlorophyll and sunlight is used the solar energy is trapped in order to produce c6h12o6 and oxygen is liberated as by product that is because of decomposition of water molecule now this process is called as autotrophic nutrition or say simply we are calling it as photosynthesis by using photosynthesis the food material that is glucose c6h12o6 or rather we can call it as simple sugar uh, even glucose is called as monosaccharide according to classification so this is produced then at second level whatever the products are formed they are again used say for example glucose is converted into starch starch is polysaccharide that means glucose molecules are combining to form a starch molecule so many glucose molecules are used water molecule is removed and starch is produced from them so this way more complicated substances are produced in this photosynthesis part the latter stage whatever the obtained products from photosynthesis they are utilized further for example nitrogen is added in that and that may lead to protein or even fat molecules are also produced from that and different material required for body building they are prepared from that so this way from photosynthesis onwards there is series of reactions with which plant are able to produce different chemicals namely we are calling this chemical as proteins now whenever we are talking of proteins it must be clear that proteins are having carbon hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen as fundamental element i am revising they are having carbon hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen as fundamental elements apart from that proteins may have other elements also you are aware of one of the protein that is called as hemoglobin now hemoglobin is having considerable amount of iron a few atoms so along with c h o and n we have iron now same way in case of so here i am writing other elements iron is present now in case of chlorophyll the another protein it is having magnesium present so like that proteins are made up basically of carbon hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen but along with that other elements may be present now fat this is 
also synthesized by plant only initially then next that is carbohydrates from glucose we are having different carbohydrates in plant basically carbohydrates are present in form of starch now starch is called as polysaccharide and obviously this starch is not sweet in taste whereas monosaccharides and disaccharides uh, disaccharide means our simple cane sugar so these are sweet in taste so this way different compounds are produced by plant now this is the autotrophs the plants are producing out this chemical as well as plants are using out these chemicals now in heterotrophic whatever the autotrophs are produced they are just consumed out at primary level that is called as primary consumer level now in this case whenever we are consuming out proteins the proteins are digested and absorbed by primary consumers now what is the meaning of digestion here uh, i am not defining actually but we are making it in some simpler sense that proteins are made up of amino acids the constituent of proteins that is amino acids here proteins are simply break down into amino acids and then amino acids are absorbed by our body so starch as we have discussed it is polysaccharide but in body it is converted into monosaccharide and absorbed by body like that substances are broken into simpler form and then they are absorbed by body and used by body that is called as heterotrophic mode of nutrition now in case of heterotrophic mode of nutrition there are different categories we are calling sir certain heterotrophs as holozoic nature holozoic means substance is consumed in body as we are consuming and inside the body these substances are digested absorbed assimilated and ejected also outside the body so this way the food material is taken entirely in required part is digested and absorbed undigested material is thrown away out of body then we are calling this part or this category as holozoic nature the next category that is we are calling as saprophytic nature saprophytic means the food material is selected and enzymes are secreted by body on that food material digestion process is carried out outside the body and only digested material is absorbed like fungus you are aware fungus category is usually we are considering that fungus as saprophytic in nature because the fungus is secreting out certain enzymes now you may be familiar with this word enzyme enzyme is a chemical which triggers out the reaction now here certain enzymes are produced by this uh we are calling as saprophytic uh, category and food is digested outside the body and the breakdown whatever we are uh, with enzyme help of enzyme food is converted into simpler substance that food is absorbed whatever unwanted that is remain outside the body only so this type of mode is shown by fungus so we are calling fungus as saprophytic in nature a uh, single we are calling as fungus plural we are calling as fungi so here these categories are considered as saprophytic in nature then next type we are considering as parasitic nature parasites are also called as endoparasites and exoparasites endoparasites they are staying within host body say for example ascaris that water round worms are present in human body especially in digestive system we are calling that as ascaris 
or Ascalmentis. The category is Ascalmentis. So these Ascaris are internal parasites. Whereas if you are talking of lice, then lice is called as external parasite. No doubt they are straying inside the hairy part, but still it is on the body. Same way, if you are talking of cascuta, cascuta is name of plant, which is not having chlorophyll. And so, it is parasitic in nature. No doubt, no, this is plant but not autotropic. This is called as parasitic plant. It is growing on other green plant and it depends on that plant for the food. So, this type of category we are calling as hetero tropic but in heterotropic we are calling as parasite so it is clear now that in case of human being we are considering human being as holozoic heterotropic as well as in heterotropic category we are calling as holozoic in now how to define digestion digestion is a process where complex non diffusible substances are break down into simple diffusible substances then this process is called as digestion. Now here, uh, this process is carried out with help of enzymes. This is digestion. Now second stage. Okay, anyway, uh, let us discuss again nutrition. Stepwise we have to discuss. Uh, in case of human being, the first thing that is called as ingestion. Ingestion is food is taken in. Now, in case of ingestion, the first thing that one should select what is food. In case of human being, obviously, wide variety of food is available. But uh, just keep in mind for other animals, a specific food is available. For example, if you are talking of deer or elang, elang uh, that is also called as sambar like animal so eland or deer then it is obviously grazing category herbivorous animal herbivorous means plant eating animal so eland or deer that is herbivorous animal grazing animal so grass is the available food even leaves of different plants that is the available food for them this category is not able to think of carnivorous that means non-veg food so the food given for different animals that is different tiger obviously will not think of grazing lion these animals are perfectly carnivorous but in carnivorous also carnivorous means non veg eating again different categories are there some animals are called as predators predator means the animals which are carrying out hunting and consuming out the food that means live prey is hunted and consumed then this is called as predator whereas certain animals also called as scavengers the scavenger category is that dead animals already dead these animals are consumed then that is called as scavengers now here these scavengers can consume dead food as well as they can carry out hunting also whereas Carnivorous uh, predator category is predominantly depending upon the prey that is 